Durham University is a collegiate research university in Durham, northeast England. It was founded by an Act of Parliament in 1832 and granted a royal charter in 1837. It was one of the first universities to commence tuition in England for more than 600 years and claims to be the third oldest university in England and consequently the seventh oldest in the UK, although this is disputed. Durham has an estate which includes 63 listed buildings, ranging from the 11th century castle to a 1930s Art Deco chapel. The university also owns and manages the Durham World Heritage Site in partnership with Durham Cathedral. The university's ownership of the World Heritage Site includes Durham Castle, Palace Green, and the surrounding buildings including the historic Hosens Library. The Chancellor of the University is Sir Thomas Allen, who succeeded Bill Bryson in January 2012. As a collegiate university, its main functions are divided between the academic departments of the university and 16 colleges. In general, the departments perform research and provide lectures to students while the colleges are responsible for the domestic arrangements and welfare of undergraduate students, graduate students, postdoctoral researchers and some university staff. The university is a member of the Russell Group of leading UK universities after previously being a member of the 1994 group. Durham is also affiliated with several university groups including the N8 Research Partnership and the Matariki Network of Universities. The university is currently ranked 5th to 6th by recent National League tables of the British universities. In terms of average UCAS points of entrance, Durham ranked 5th in 2014. Long established is the leading alternative to Oxford and Cambridge. The university attracts a largely middle-class student body, according to the Times' S. Good University Guide. In 2014, Durham had the fifth highest proportion of privately educated students at 36.6%. In 2013, Durham was judged to have the best quality of student life in the country in the inaugural Lloyds Bank rankings and has never been out of the top three coming in third in 2014 and second in 2015. The university was named Sunday Times University of the Year for 2005, having previously been shortlisted for 2004 award, and the Times and Sunday Times Sports University of the Year for 2015. Current and emeritus academics include 14 Fellows of the Royal Society, 17 Fellows of the British Academy, 14 Fellows of the Academy of Social Sciences, 5 Fellows of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, 2 Fellows of the Royal Society of Arts and 2 Fellows of the Academy of Medical Sciences. Durham graduates have long used the Latin postnominal letters Dunelm after their degree, from Dunelm Mensis. History Origins The strong tradition of theological teaching in Durham gave rise to various attempts to form a university there, notably under King Henry VIII and Oliver Cromwell, who issued letters patent and nominated a proctor and fellows for the establishment of a college in 1657. However, there was deep concern expressed by Oxford and Cambridge that the awarding of degree powers could hinder their position. Consequently, it was not until 1832 when Parliament, at the instigation of Archdeacon Charles Thorpe and with the support of the Bishop of Durham, William Van Mildert, passed an act to enable the Dean and Chapter of Durham Cathedral to appropriate part of the property of their church to the establishment of a university in connection there with that the university came into being. The act received royal assent from King William IV on 4 July 1832. The university was incorporated by royal charter granted by William IV on 1 June 1837 as the Warden, Masters and Scholars of the University of Durham, with the first students graduating a week later. Accommodation was provided in the Archdeacon's Inn from 1833 to 1837. On the accession of Queen Victoria an order of the Queen in Council was issued granting the use of Durham Castle to the university. 19th century In 1846 Bishop Hatfield's Hall was founded. 
providing for the opportunity for students to obtain affordable lodgings with fully catered communal eating. Those attending university college were expected to bring a servant with them to deal with cooking, cleaning and so on. Elsewhere, the university expanded from Durham into Newcastle in 1852 when the medical school there became a college of the university. This was joined in 1871 by the College of Physical Sciences. St. Cuthbert's Society was founded in 1888 to cater for non-resident students in Durham, while two teacher training colleges, St. Hilde's for Women, established in 1858, and the College of the Venerable Bede for Men, established in 1839, also existed in the city. These merged to form a mixed college in 1975. From 1896 these were associated with the university and graduates of St. Hilde's were the first female graduates from Durham in 1898. During the expansion phase the university also became the first English university to establish relationship with overseas institutions. Firstly in 1875 with Codrington College, Barbayards and secondly in early 1876 with Fora Bay College, Sierra Leone. Under the arrangements the two colleges became affiliated colleges of the university with their students being permitted to matriculate with Durham degrees. The landmark event was not meet with universal applause with the London Times stating it would not be much longer before the University of Durham was affiliated to the zoo. After nearly a century of affiliation and with the prevailing winds of decolonization Fora Bay became independent of the university in 1968 to form part of the University of Sierra Leone, while Cardringen College retains its affiliation with the university. The first debating society in Durham was founded in 1835. This may have closed by 1839. In 1842, the Durham University Union was established and later revived in 1872-3, when it took up the name of the Durham Union Society and moved to Palace Green. The Durham College's Students' Representative Council was founded c. 1900 after the model of the College of Medicine, SRC. The Durham University SRC was formed in 1907 with representatives from the Durham Colleges, the College of Medicine, and Armstrong College. In 1963, after the creation of Newcastle University, the Durham Colleges SRC became the Durham University SRC, and was renamed as the Durham Students' Union in 1970. For most of the 19th century, University of Durham degrees were subject to a religion test and could only be taken by members of the established church. This situation lasted until the University's Tests Act 1871. However, dissenters were able to attend Durham and then receive degrees of the University of London, which were not subject to any religious test on completing their course. Following the grant of a supplemental charter in 1895 allowing women to receive degrees of the university, the Women's Hostel was founded in 1899. 20th century the Newcastle Division of the University, which comprised both Armstrong College and Durham University College of Medicine, quickly grew to outnumber the Durham Colleges, despite the addition of two independent Anglican foundations. St. Chad's College and St. John's College. A parliamentary bill proposed in 1907 would have fixed the seat of the university in Durham for only 10 years, allowing the Senate to choose to move to Newcastle after this. This was blocked by a local MP, with the support of graduates of the Durham Colleges, until the bill was modified to establish a federal university with its seat fixed in Durham. This reform also removed the university from the authority of the Dean and Chapter of Durham Cathedral, who had been the governors of the university since its foundation. Thirty years after this, the Royal Commission of 1937 recommended changes in the constitution of the Federal University, resulting in the merger of the two Newcastle Colleges in the Newcastle Division to form King's College. 
the vice chancellorship alternated between the warden of the Durham Division and the rector of the Newcastle Division. After World War II, the Durham Division expanded rapidly. St. Aidan's Society was founded in 1947 to cater for non-resident women and the decision was made to expand onto Elvert Hill, vastly expanding the existing pure science provision in Durham, and adding applied science and engineering. In 1947, the foundation stones for the new St. Mary's College building on Elvert Hill were laid by the Princess Elizabeth. The new building opened in 1952. In the same year, tensions surfaced again over the Durham-Newcastle divide, with a proposal to change the name of the university to the University of Durham and Newcastle. This motion was defeated in convocation by 135 votes to 129. Eleven years later, with the Universities of Durham and Newcastle upon Tyne Act 1963, King's College became the University of Newcastle upon Tyne leaving Durham University based solely in its home city. By this time, the Elvert Hill site was well established with the first of the new colleges, Gray College being founded in 1959. Expansion up Elvert Hill continued, with Van Milder College and the Durham Business School, Trevelyan College and Collingwood College all being added to the university, along with a botanic garden. These were not the only developments in the university, however, the Graduate Society, catering for postgraduate students, was founded in 1965 and the Roman Catholic Seminary of Ushaw College, which had been in Durham since 1808, was licensed as a Hall of Residence in 1968. In 1988, the last male-only college became mixed, followed by Trevelyan in 1992, leaving St. Mary's as the last single-sex college. Queen's Campus, Stockton in 1992, a joint venture between the University and the University of Teesside saw the joint university college on Teesside of the Universities of Durham in Teesside established at Thornaby on Tees in the borough of Stockton on Tees and the ceremonial county of North Yorkshire, 30 miles to the south of Durham. This was initially intended to grant joint degrees validated by both institutions. However, Teesside, which had only become a university in 1992, had difficulties in taking on its responsibilities for the college in Durham took full control of the new college in 1994. A program of integration with Durham began, however the college was renamed University College. Stockton in 1992 a college of the University of Durham. Further integration led to the campus being renamed the University of Durham, Stockton Campus in 1998, removing teaching responsibilities from the college. In 2001, two new colleges, John Snow and George Stevenson were established at Stockton, replacing UCS and the new medical school took in its first students, the first medics to join Durham since 1963. In 2002, her golden jubilee year, the Queen granted the title Queen's Campus to the Stockton site. By 2005, Queen's Campus, Stockton, accounted for around 18% of the total university student population. This is likely to increase in coming years thanks to future expansion plans. In 2007 the campus cafeteria, the waterside room, was renovated and now serves as the campus student bar. In addition to this facility both colleges at the campus benefit from their own college bars, managed centrally however and not by their JCR. 2005 to present in 2005, the university unveiled a rebranded logo type and introduced the trading name of Durham University. However, the official name of the institution remains the University of Durham and the official coat of arms is unchanged. In the last half of the 20th century, the number of students at the university has grown considerably and continues to grow with the addition of Queen's Campus, Stockton. The more recent rises are in line with government policy of increasing access to higher education. In 1989 the university started its fundraising and alumni office. 
with a virtual community for alumni and several large gifts made to the university, including for the Center for Middle Eastern Studies, the Department of Physics and the Wolfson Research Institute. In 2005, St. Mary's College had its first mixed undergraduate intake. In October 2006, Josephine Butler College, a long-standing development, opened its doors to students as Durham's newest college, the only purpose-built self-catering college for students within Durham. This was the first new college to open in Durham itself since the 1970s, at the creation of Collingwood. In July 2009, Tony Blair, the former British Prime Minister, announced a strategic partnership with Durham University, following Yale University and the National University of Singapore, to create a global network of 12 leading research universities for delivering his Faith and Globalization Initiative in association with Tony. Blair Faith Foundation. In May 2010, Durham joined the Matariki Network of Universities together with Dartmouth College, Queen's University, University of Otago, University of Tubingen, University of Western Australia and Uppsala University. In 2011, the University of Durham's ethical reputation was called into question by the revelation that a donation of £125,000 had been accepted from British American Tobacco despite the involvement of members of the university's Department of Anthropology, School of Applied Social Sciences and Medical School in the tobacco control field criticized as being of dubious financial necessity and showing insensitivity to the surrounding population. The controversy led to direct appeals to the then-Chancellor Bill Bryson, to whose scheme for educating female Afghan students the donation had been made. The tobacco industry donation was not repaid.